So seizures. Uh, before I learned about it, what I usually thought of as a seizure was that, like that person just rolling on the ground, jerking and frothing at the mouth. And that is a type of seizure. That's the grand mal seizure. But there's many other types of seizures, and we I want to get into that. So the exact definition of a seizure is an abnormal, synchronized electrical activity of neurons, and this leads to transient behavioral changes. So this basically just means that your brain is being super activated. It's overactivated. It's synchronized, and it's just it's sending too much electrical activity. And this is going to lead to changes in your behavior. Next is I wanted to find epilepsy because there's some confusion in between what's the difference between epilepsy and seizures. So epilepsy is a disorder of recurrent unprovoked seizures. So first of all, what does a provoked versus unprovoked seizures mean? Well, your seizures can either be provoked or unprovoked. If it's provoked, that means that something's causing it. Something provoked it, such as lack of sleep, stress, too much alcohol. If it's unprovoked, that means you're just getting a seizure and we don't know why you got it. Um, and epilepsy is a disorder where you keep getting these unprovoked seizures. Okay, now let's get into different types of seizures. So the first type is called a focal seizure. That means, as, as you can tell from the name, that you have a focal part of the brain that gets activated, and you have abnormal synchronized electrical activity at a focal part of the brain. Now we can further divide this focal seizure into a simple versus complex, and the only difference here is whether you have loss of consciousness or not. So simple does not lose consciousness, complex does lose consciousness. And your symptoms that you're going to see in this seizure is going to depend on what part of the brain is affected. So you see some parts of the brain are uh, responsible for smell, some are for motor function, some is for vision. So if, let's say if the motor cortex gets activated abnormally, then you get jerking of whatever part of the body that, that is innervated. Or maybe the, the visual cortex is activated, so you're going to see these visual different auras, the visual symptoms. So it totally depends on what part of the brain gets activated. Next is a generalized seizure. And this is a seizure that affects both sides of the brain. And there's five different types that we want to know about. The first one is called an absence seizure. So this is where they have a blank stare. And the, one of the key things is they have no post-ictal confusion. I wanted to find that. So the post-ictal state is the period immediately following a seizure. And usually the patient will be confused and they can have other um, neurological symptoms. And this can last for minutes to hours. But in absence seizures, they don't have this. They have this blank stare, and then they suddenly recover really quickly, and they're just back to normal again. And the other thing to note is that this, this seizure is characterized by 3 hertz spike and wave discharges. And that's one of those key, those key words that you see, and you already know it's an absence seizure. And that's on the EEG. So that's the same idea as the EKG, except it's for the brain. So it measures the electrical activity of the brain. So... The final thing I want to add for absence seizure is usually you see this in kids. Okay, so next is the tonic seizure. So this is a seizure where your muscles are abnormally stiff, they're tonically activated, so you get stiffening of your muscles. Next is myoclonic seizure. This is the jerking one. So clonic means jerking. So grand mal seizure is the next one. This is a tonic clonic seizure. So as you can tell from the name, it's stiffening and then jerking. So it's alternation between the two. And again, like I said, this is the one where you're lying on the ground, you're like stiff and your arms start jerking and you're, you're frothing at the mouth. And our last one is the atonic seizure. It's, that one means you have complete loss of muscle tone. So this is the type of patient that's gonna, gonna lose all their muscle tone and they're gonna suddenly drop because they, they, their muscles can't hold them up anymore. So that's it for our five types of generalized seizures. The next thing I wanted to define is status epilepticus. And this is a state of having either a continuous or a recurring seizure for more than five minutes. Now this is a bad state because if your brain gets too activated like this, you can lead to brain injury and this can even lead to death. So this is life threatening. So you need to fix this as soon as possible. All right, and that's it. And so we already covered post-ictal state. Um, Next, I just want to show you a brief EEG real quick so you have an idea what the heck an EEG is. So we have all these electrodes we attach to the head and it's going to measure electrical activity in the brain. And you're going to see this, this is basically electrical activity. You don't have to know how to read whatever the 3 hertz spike and wave. They're just going to tell you that. All right, so that's it for our seizure lecture.